Hello, my name is Nadine and welcome to Hopalong Studio. So in today's video, I wanted to talk about living in transition and how we can thrive during times of change. Transition and change aren't necessarily bad things. They can usually bring some really great things into our lives, but they aren't always completely stress-free. I've been thinking a lot about the fact that most of the people in my city are moving towards a time of transition. We've been in pandemic for a while. Uh, kids have been out of school for months now. And basically, schools are reopening, universities are reopening, and a lot of people are moving back into the workplace again. And so we're all going through times of transition. And I was thinking a lot about how do we find our way through in a good way? How do we get back to a normal that's not really normal? And I think it's really important that we take time to understand that transition doesn't happen overnight. It isn't something that is always easy, but if we handle it well, it can actually bring some really great things into our lives. So how do we handle transition well? Part of it is having realistic expectations. It's easy to think everything's going to be perfect, everything's going to be normal, it's going to be back to where it was before, and that's not really the case. So by having more realistic expectations and giving yourself that time and that space to realize it could be days, weeks, or maybe even months before you really fall into a normal schedule and that things start feeling the way they used to. And when we do that, that gives ourselves the time and the grace to be able to work through what we're experiencing in that moment instead of expecting something that is unrealistic. It's important during times of transition that we go slow. It might seem like a strange thing to say about going slow through life, but it's not necessarily about not getting things done or accomplishing anything, but it's taking the time to take a step back, to reassess the situation and be able to really see some of the subtleties in the situation. Part of it is also making sure that we don't dive into things. I tend to dive into things, get excited, expend a lot of energy, and then find myself utterly exhausted long before I am done that particular project or done that particular interaction. So. There's something to be said about going slow. It's giving ourselves the time to really see what's going on, to be able to evaluate. With that, it helps us to make better choices. When we're able to see what we like and don't like about a situation, it helps us with figuring out how much we want to be involved, what our boundaries are in those situations, and allows us to basically be in a place where that new normal almost comes quicker because we were willing to go slow. It's also important to go a bit slower during transition to also manage expectations because, for example, I've, I've started a new job and, and I've kind of had to hit the ground running. The hard thing about that is I'm really trying to manage other people's expectations of me because if they see me work at 110% all the time, that's what their expectation for me of my work pace is going to be from that time forward. So it's very important that we are able to go slower in transition so that other people's expectations aren't that we're going to get everything done right away, figured out right away, but be able to just take the time to figure out the things we need to figure out and be in a place where we're actually really good with the situation. When we're living in transition, it's a great time to set some good boundaries. Our lives are already in flux. We do not have a new normal yet. So why not take a look at your boundaries and the things that are important to you and be able to assess whether or not they're working for you or not. I believe that boundaries for all of us are important. Most people around us are thinking more about themselves than anything else. We do it as well. I know I do it as well. We're concerned about our lives and the things that are immediately important to us. And that means that we're not always looking out for each other. It's not meant to be intentionally unkind, but it's just the way things are. So that's part of the reason we need to have good boundaries. Because if people don't know where we stand and what we need, we're not, they're not necessarily going to go out of their way to figure it out. I know for myself, just being at work again, I have had people already challenge my boundaries. And I've had moments where I've had to have slightly awkward conversations. Um, because as far as I'm concerned, if they don't know what my boundaries are, then I have no right to be frustrated or resentful when they don't respect those boundaries. So there's something to be said about setting your boundaries because it might lead to awkward conversation, but it also leads to a place of peace because you have been hurt out and you know exactly where you stand with these people. And if they choose not to respect those boundaries, then that's a different conversation you need to have. So the question you need to ask yourselves, are these boundaries helping us live the life we want and align with our values? I believe that 
if we are going to live a very peaceful life, part of this is having our boundaries and our values and our lifestyle to all intersect. When we are living in transition, it's important that we learn to live in self-compassion. It's important that we learn to accept the situation that we're in, even if it's not ideal. Because acceptance, most people look at acceptance as being okay with everything, when acceptance is really looking at the situation going, this is maybe not ideal, I don't necessarily agree, but I'm going to accept at the moment so that I can have peace. And I believe that acceptance and self-compassion during transition is so important. It's realizing that things are not ideal, that things could be better, but we'll get there. We'll get there. And by showing ourselves that self-compassion and showing others compassion, it can make this whole transition through change so much easier and can help us embrace the change and get through it in a way that causes us a whole lot less stress. So are you moving through change and transition in your own personal life? If so, I would love to hear about it. I, I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope it's been helpful to you. If you have, if you could like it, subscribe to my channel and maybe provide a comment below about what you thought about this video. As well, I have my website, hopalongstudio.com, where I have other ideas on how to find self-care in your own personal life. I hope you have a really great week and I will see you next time.